a function and, and obtain a, a y. Now this is this y is, is the estimated y, so I'm going to put a hat on. This is the real y that you observe. And this x is really usually not a single variable. So it's not like you know the age and you want to get the height. You probably know the age, the height, the wood, you know, a lot of characteristics about each one of your elements, and you want to obtain some value. Oops, sorry. Uh, the value that you want to guess is do they have cancer? Are, are they at risk? Uh, are they going to graduate? Are they going to get an A? Any number of things, right? So this guy, this X, is usually a vector, a vector of values where you have all the information about your, your students, for example, in our case, right? And the Y is whatever you want to, to, to observe. So the way this is normally done is you take your data and you split it off into, I'm going to oversimplify a little bit, but let's say two sets. One set is called the training set. And that's the one that you use to try to find this function. So this is the guy you're looking for, right? You're looking for a function that is going to be able to determine for you the value of y given, given an x. You use your training data to do that. And then at the end of it, you reserve some data. Let's call it the holdout data if you want to. And you are going to apply f to that holdout data and see how well you predict it, right? So that data is not seen by your model. Otherwise, you, you run the risk of really obtaining a model that's fitted to the holdout data and doesn't really help for future data that you're going to be receiving later on, right? So now the question is,